correction or connection of various computers or devices for sharing the information and for communication that is called networking a network is defined as a collection of various devices together that connection can be wired that connection can be wireless by using the various media a network is defined as a collection of various devices which are connected together and these are computers are networking uh, computers are connected maybe through the help of cables and which can transfer the data in the form of signals or it can be connected with the help of various other media wireless media and why we connect them a network of multimedia multiple devices which includes can be computer laptops printer scanner network servers your mobiles your tablets or any communication device any device which can which help you to communicate if we connect those devices together that is called network for example in your home or in your school you may have seen that one computer is connected to a printer that is a connection that is a network one computer is using the printer and the scanner two devices are connected together so similarly we can uh, have key connection of a wi fi connection that we use to uh, connect with the internet that is also a network so whenever we are connecting the devices to each other to share information or to communicate that is called networking for example we are having a what are the major advantages of networking why we use the networking yes what are the major advantages of networking it is a group of two or more computers that are linked with each other so as to why we connect so as they can share the files with other computers in the network for example few files are there in one computer and some files are in other computer and if we want to share those files without copying them on other a pen drive or any other external device we can share the files among the various computers by the network for example aapka computer lab mein agar suppose networking hai if all the computers are connected there is no need to sit on the same seat same seat uh, regularly because you can sit on any seat and access the same file from other computer aapne ek computer pe ek file banayi hai kaam start kiya next day aake aap kisi aur computer pe baithte ho then you can share that file you can you can use the previous file the file from the previous day that was stored in some other computer you can use that by sitting on any other computer because we are sharing the files with the help of network share resources for example we are having a printer we are having various hard disk fax machines scanners modems theek okay? hai all these hardware devices can be shared where if we are having a network for example we are having one printer in the senior computer lab but that computer is connected with the help of network with many other computers we can has it on any other computer we can give the print command same printer can be used that means we are reducing the cost of hardware we are reducing the cost of hardware similarly we can reduce the cost of software by sharing the various application software which are stored on one computer and many other computers are using that software over the network so we can reduce the cost by sharing the resources resources can be your hardware resources resources can be your software resources and by sharing the files and the most important advantage that is communication we can communicate between the various devices like we are sending day and night we are sending messages to one another that means we are communicating with the help of a network because our devices are connected to each other with the help of network communication okay so major four advantages of networking are we can share the files we can share the resources we can share the application softwares and communication that is the reason why you need the network next is what is the need or benefits of networking again they are again in the benefits of networking in detail okay what do we call the computer which is connected to network what do we call the computer which Client. is connected to network it could be called node it could be called a workstation it could be called host or it could be called client client uh, if it is accessing the resources from any other computer host if it is providing so resources to other computers 
otherwise major um, uh, in a most of the time we call them node or workstation which are connected to the network and the computer which is not connected with in any network that is called stand alone computer that is called stand alone computer okay the benefits is it allows you to share all types of data that means files text audio video graphics you can share anything uh, so uh, reduce the cost by sharing the hardware and software resources that i already told you saves time by transferring the data from one computer to another by if we are connecting to each other we can easily save the time by transferring the data we can easily assess the data by sitting on one computer and the data from another computer so it will save the time to copy the data or to go to some other place copy the data bring it to your place so it saves our time that to uh, networked computers can uh, doesn't uh, necessary ki ek hi jagah par hai ya ek hi room mein hai ya ek hi building mein hai they can be at separate places but we are saving the data by transferring data from one computer to another for example we download some information from internet so that is again we are transferring the data from one computer to another from the server which is having the information which is having the data and to our own computer we are using it so provides high reliability because there are multiple resources of supply that means agar hame ek jagah par information nahi mil rahi hai correct so we can have the information from other source so there are many resources available so it provides high reliability we can check the cross check the information from various resources so increase productivity by easily sharing the data we can easily share the data we can communicate with each other so it increases our productivity because we are reducing the cost also now various terms host node or workstation a computer that is connected to a network stand alone a computer which is not connected to any network online when a computer is turned on and is able to assess the network that means we are online now at a time presently we are sitting online because we are assessing the network to communicate with each other offline when a computer is turned on but is not able to assess a network that is offline digital or discrete signals digital signals means the signals that carries the digital data mostly in our devices in our computers we are having the digital data we are having the information stored in the digital form analog signal it is a continuous signals that carries the analog data analog data is in the form of waves continuous waves continuous signals that carry the data in the form of waves where the analog signals are used where the analog signals are used yes anyone where the analog signals are used some in analog computers in analog computers or you can say beta analog signals are used in telecommunication in telecommunication wo jaise voltage meters mein हाँ. voltage meters mein ya temperature hmm. measure karte hmm. hmm. analog signals uh, like uh, suppose jaise previously we used to connect our computer with a telephone line to connect with the internet previously few years back we used to connect our computer with a telephone line theek hai with the help of telephone line we uh, connect uh, one core one end connects with the cpu and one end with the modem so what is the use of modem modem is modulator and demodulator i already told you in the previous classes modulator and demodulator what is its purpose it is converting the analog signals into digital signals that the computer can understand and converting the digital signals to analog signals so that it can travel through wires to the other part of the world to the other computer so analog signals is a continuous signal that carries the analog data but the computers or the devices they are storing the data in the form of digital data so there is a conversion by using the modem modem converts the digital signals into analog signals and make them travel to other parts okay is am i clear till now any doubt anyone kirti mitansh ritik ek jot jasleen beta any doubt till now okay what are the various types of network what are the various types of network major we are having 
pan that is your personal area network lan that is local area network man that is metropolitan area network van that is wide area network mostly computers are connected in many ways to each other theek hai according to uh, we can divide the we can categorize the types of network on the basis of geographical basically mostly they are divided according to the geographical area they are covering the one network is covering how much area geographical area that is types of network if uh, we can also categorize them how they are connected to each other whether they are client server network or peer to peer network that is again different network architecture so there can be types of network according to the geographical spread they are covering according to the geographical area they are covering as you can see in this figure pan personal area network that is covering a very small area lan which is larger than the van that is personal area network man that is larger than man but smaller than van but van that is covering the wide area network that means the all over the world all the countries when the network spread all over the world that is called van wide area network pan personal area network what is what do you mean by personal area network nitya jayati anyone what do you mean by personal area network we are using the personal area network we all are using wi fi hotspot wi fi hotspots nahi when we connect our personal devices to each other like we are connecting our mobile phone with the laptop to transfer data that is personal area network we are connecting uh, two or more mobile devices to share information or to share some images that is your personal area network so when we are joining the personal devices with the in a smaller geographical area either with the help of bluetooth or with the help of a data cable that is your personal area network when we are joining the personal devices to communicate with them uh, with each other or we by for sharing the information or for transferring the data that is called personal area network local area network local area network means it is a localized network in which a few computers are connected to each other in a small geographical area it's a, that small geographical area can be one room it can be one uh, building it can be two or three rooms to each other some computer suppose in our school building we are connecting the computer which is uh, on a reception area one computer is in accounts department one computer is senior lab one computer in junior lab if we connect all these computers with the help of wires that becomes our local area network local area network that means where computers are connected in a small geographical area it could be one department it could be one building it could be one room so data transfer rate for lan technologies is up to 1000 mbps because the small area is the small the key purpose purpose for joining the uh, net joining the computers with each other in a small geographical area so that it can share the data major jo advantage hai in every type of network we are sharing the data we are sharing the information we are communicate two things sharing information communication two things are everywhere in every type of network so lan is a high speed network high transmission rates are possible in lan because of the short distance between the data networks and wires are used so data transfer rate is high lan helps in the resource sharing that is the data software hardware transfer rate data is high speed these are the features reach is limited small uh, the small area is covered lan technology generally less expensive than man and van it can cover an office computers connected in the office computers connected in the school building or in the way in office building and in uh, between the various departments also so that is an example of lan anyone any doubt lan is who can explain me what is lan what is the full form of lan yes rithik what Local is the full form of lan Ritik, what is the full form of LAN? Yes, Jasleen. Local area network. Local area network. What is the use of local area network?
What is the use of local area network? Yes, Sahil. It helps in securing documents. Sahil. It helps to connect to different departments. It helps to connect to the different departments. Major two different two advantages in every type of network. One is yes. Connection. Sharing information, sharing data, sharing hardware resources, and communication. One, we are sharing the data and information. We are sharing the software. We are sharing the files and we are also communicating we are sending messages through the network to each other we are sending uh, files to each other so it will save the time it will save it will uh, save the cost also so any major advantages is it is a localized network examples of lan what are the various examples of lan yes anyone else what are the various examples of lan jayati ikjot Computers connected in an office building. In an office building, computers connected in a school building, computers connected in a school lab, computer lab. All these are the examples of local area network. Okay. Next is your metropolitan area network. That is your MAN. MAN is bigger version of LAN. But in LAN, we are covering only one building. But in MAN, we can cover a, a city. We can cover a city, a larger area than land, but smaller than van. Man generally connects two or more lands or campus area networks in for providing the internet services to the users in a city. Or we can say a cable network that we have in a city. In each city, we are having a cable network. So cable network is an example of man, metropolitan area network. It can cover an area around 10 kilometers to 100 kilometers. That is MAN, Metropolitan Area Network, which is larger than LAN, but smaller than WAN. And it can connect two or more LANs, or it can connect the various CANs, or it can connect the single devices. MAN covers larger area, covers a distance between 10 kilometer to 100 kilometer. Data speed is 34 to 150 55 Mbps, and expensive equipment is required for forming a man it could be uh, an office it could be a company which is having the different branches in the same city and when we connect all those branches with each other computers of those branches to each other in the same city that is also an example of man for example in a uh, in a same city we are having two three branches of a school or a two three branches of an hospital or two three branches of a department store when the computers of those branches are connected to each other in a single city, in a same city, that is MAN, Metropolitan Area Network. Clear? Is it clear? Okay. Next is Wide Area Network. Wide Area Network, a network that covers a wide geographical area or a region. It links the different metropolitan cities, countries, and it doesn't have any national boundaries. It connects all the computers or devices all over the world, that is WAN, wide area network. It may be located entirely within a state or a country, or it may be interconnected around the world. The data transfer rate WAN is up to 155 Mbps. It has unlimited geographical area, <laughs> it is susceptible to errors due to the distance involved. Distance involved, the, uh, because the distance is large, it can, it can uh, uh, slow the data uh, transfer rates can be less and there can be errors also. But they are very less because everyday technology is improving day by day. So these errors are reducing also. These errors are less number of errors are there. So for example, internet, ATM services. These are the examples of wide area network. ATM service, in every bank, we are having the various ATMs and we can assess the ATM from any country, from any state, from any city to assess our accounts. So that is an example of WAN, wide area network, because it has no limitation of boundaries. It has no limitation of geographical area. We can have the ATM, we can assess the ATM from anywhere to connect with our accounts, bank accounts. 
okay to have the services of those accounts so that is also and your calling haan ji जो कॉलिंग सिस्टम्स होते हैं वो भी बैन ही होते हैं या फिर वो मैन होते हैं कौन से कॉलिंग सिस्टम कौन से मैम कॉलिंग सिस्टम्स जो हम अगर हम कॉल करते हैं से टेलीफोन टावर्स में जाते हैं टेलीफोन टावर्स में जो हम कॉल कर रहे हैं एक दूसरे से कम्युनिकेट कर रहे हैं बाय कॉलिंग टू ईच अदर यस मैम बाय फोन कॉल्स फोन कॉल दैट इज अ डिफरेंट दैट इज अ टेली कम्युनिकेशन ठीक है टेली कम्युनिकेशन में ऑडियो कॉलिंग कर रहे हैं that is with the help of satellites theek okay? hai network means when two devices are connected to share information in the form of text audio video or graphics or communicating jaise hum by video calling karte hain video conference karte hain either with the help of whatsapp or with the help of any other device that is a wide area network ha whatsapp pe jo audio call kar rahe hain that is with the help of internet that is a wide area network Okay, okay, if we are calling uh, with the help of our telecommunication devices, we are using the telecommunication uh, companies. Then it is a, a different thing. Okay. Okay. Any other doubt till now? We are having four types of network: PAN, that is your personal area network; local area network, which is larger than PAN but smaller than MAN. metropolitan area network in which we are covering the uh, computers connected with each other in the same city wan that is your wide area network that covers a wider geographical area around the world okay next internet internet is an example of in wide area network internet is an example of wide area network what is internet what is internet it is a connection of various computers in finite number of computers spread across the world that is wide area network example of wide area network internet internet is a refers to the collection of in finite number of computers spread across the world it is the largest computer network also called a group of interconnected computers that can interact with one another in the world it is also called a network of networks as it encompasses many small medium small medium or large networks for example one network uh, uh, one local area network is in lab some uh, local area network is in an office building but they all are connected to each other uh, with the help of internet so smaller networks are connected to each other with the help of internet then it becomes a wide area network that is a uh, with the help of internet internet allows people to communicate with each other all over the world so like abhi hum baat kar rahe hain ek dusre se ghar baithe hain everyone is in every different location so we are having this meeting we are having this conversation we are having this video conference with the help of internet so internet refers to the collection of infinite number of computers spread across the world largest computer network in which any device which is connected to internet and which is helping us to download information sharing information for finding the information or for communicating with each other that is a part of network that uh, but uh, but media is used to connect them that we will discuss tomorrow theek hai so internet is also an example of wide area network it is an collection of all the computers in finite number of computers all over the world which are connected to each other and which are uh, connected to each other for sharing information and for communication is it clear till now yes is it clear till now any doubt in today's topic okay that's all for today